Uh, welcome back to the Untitled Show. We got two quick stories and two updates with, or one update, or a bunch of stuff with Samrock and a bunch of stuff with Ikiman Villains. But before that, we'll start with your week. Uh, let's start with you, Val. How's your week been? Uh, it was an event. An event what the fuck? Serving has the Zoomies. Um, <laughs> it was uneventful up until um, I think it was yesterday. Um, my neighbor's apartment flooded, so they had to like um, check our piping and everything. Oh no, it's two. It was sorry, it was two days ago that the apartment, the neighbor's apartment flooded. Yesterday they came in and like checked some things, and they're like, "Yeah, so we might have to like tear up your floor and everything." <laughs> As they thought it was like a burst pipe, but no, it was just a clog. So they flush out the pipes, and then they're like, "Oh, everything's fine." But it was a fucking nightmare. Oh, okay. It didn't take too long. They only came in your place for what, like, uh, how long? Uh, they were there for like four hours each. Oh no! So, like a total of eight hours. Because <laughs> they had to like send like a snake through like all the like um, oh, whatever to try to find out where the pipe had burst because they thought a pipe had burst, but then they're like, we can't find it. But there's still issues. So then they had to flush the pipes. And um, before they flushed the pipes, like last night, um, gross ass like um, water was coming up out of my bathtub because of the issue with the piping. Ooh, nice, nice. Um, so yeah, I couldn't even take a shower, and it was just a fucking disaster. <laughs> Fuck. I, I something, good. something similar happened to me. Like there was upstairs, whatever. There's, I don't know what the fuck happened. Anyways, so the guy comes down to my place, knocks on my door. The plumber's with them, and they're like, "Is your bathroom all right?" And I'm like, "That's, oh, I don't know, maybe." So they, <laughs> I let them in. They check it out. They're looking to see if like I, I it's affecting my unit. But I'm like, I'm looking at the plumber. I'm like, uh, shouldn't you know? <laughs> I'm like, I'm deeply concerned here, but they only spent like five minutes and they, they were like pretty happy that nothing happened to my unit, but they didn't spend four hours, four hours. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Uh, because the problem is, is like, for some weird reason, everything on my side of the building filters through my apartment. So like my apartment's like the main source of like, yeah, and it's like the easiest access. So they had to do all that shit in our unit. So... Oh. At least they didn't have to tear up our floor. That's all I care about. <laughs> yeah. Still took a long time, but yeah, okay. Everything's working now? Yeah. Because, yeah, they did. They said that they were... At first, it was just going to be, like, tearing up under the fridge. Then it was tearing up the kitchen. Then it was tearing up our living room. <laughs> hey, would you get new shit if they did that? Um, probably. Well, I think so. Because they'd oh. have to, like, fix it. But, but the thing is, is the building drags their feet on everything, so it'd probably be broken for, like, a month. Yeah, that would suck if you lived there, I guess. <laughs> oh, okay. And I'd also uh, have to keep my cats trapped so they didn't go in the hole, and... Oh, yeah. They would like, oh, what's this? Yeah, interesting. Yeah. yeah. Never see him again. <laughs> okay, Gabs, your week hasn't been that eventful, has it? <laughs> no, not really. Um, I've just been working, and I forgot to say it last week, but I, I have started school now, so there's that as well. Oh, snap. You're, you're educating you yourself, happen? bettering your life. Yeah. Can't really. I don't know. I don't know, if I'm, <laughs> I don't know if I'd call it bettering my life. Uh, I don't know. I feel like school, like, you're attempting to, like, progress in life and, like, be an upstanding member of society and stuff like that. <laughs> Uh, that's good. Um, how many classes? What do you mean how many classes? When you I'm start school. A course. Yeah. Currently, it's it's a part time course that's based. It's made for people who are already working in the field. Okay. So it's part time, and I have two units per semester. Okay, so. that's still quite a bit if you're juggling work. Yeah, but like I got a because they did videos introducing themselves and stuff, and they were like, "We know you're working right now, so if you need an extension, just send us a message. We get it." And I'm like, "This sounds great," because <laughs> when I was in school for my other u my other courses, it was like, "Do you need an extension? You're gonna need a doctor's certificate, or someone's gonna have to die." Yeah, that's usually how it is. 
But yeah, I tried juggling work with school. Um, yeah, I'm not, could not be bothered. It was <laughs> too many conflicts. I don't know. Not like the time. The scheduling worked out perfect if I was a robot and I didn't have any like feelings. But uh, yeah, it takes a lot of motivation. That's fair. Okay, uh, we'll get into some of the short stories first, and then, um, I don't know, we'll just start with this quick, uh, bam, let me see. I think we just heard about this, and I just found it kind of funny. Val brought it up. Yeah. Because uh, we were talking about this, I can't remember the reason, maybe Azza brought it up, I can't remember. Um, you guys were talk, talk, uh, uh, you asked Azza what he was up to, and then, like, I think you asked him if he played Helldivers too, or he mentioned it, either way. Helldivers 2 came up, and I'm like, oh my god, have you heard of the scam? <laughs> and then I sent this news article. All right. Yeah. Have you heard about this, uh, Gaps? No. Oh, shit. It says here, two games. Wasn't even one. Oh, I only knew about the one. <laughs> At least two games, it says. Oh, At shit. Least. How many? Okay. Anyway, so apparently Helldivers 2 is super popular. You see, it's suffering from success. I like that phrase. I think, to my understanding, there were listings on Steam that were like not Hell Divers, but they were like were on sale. But I guess it must have been very similar. They had the same. Let's see, latest development so discount. Like, I think they set their price to the price of Hell Divers and then discounted it because they changed everything on their Steam page to match Hell Divers, except mm -hmm. for like their release date because they couldn't change that. So that was Whoa. the only way to find out that but it then... was like not. The actual hell divers but like, also like, it would be a different dev I, I guess they weren't looking too closely at this yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I tend to look at the dev a bunch but... of shit on their like page uh let me see uh let me see it looks like the arrowhead i'm assuming this is the ceo of uh the hell divers team or whatever I have no idea. just cry the dupes and the fact that they could be created so easily interesting so you anyone could so anyways uh, these game listings went up and whatever people bought them i don't know how many people but uh i would assume everyone got their money back because they delisted de them because apparently it takes well, you I mean, it's fairly easy to get your money back from steam you just ask for a refund within the first two hours yeah i think uh yeah. they were you banking on played. we were trying to figure this out too that we're I'd assume they just banked on people buying it and not playing it. <laughs> like a lot of people do buy yeah, games. Yeah, that's me. That's me. A lot of my games I've bought and not touched. That's fair. Yeah, so they were banking on that, but someone else brought it up. Like these games got delisted, whatever. Uh, the, it takes them, they said 30 to 60 days to even get their money out of Steam. So there was like no way they were going to get paid. But if they never found them, Maybe there was some games they didn't find, right? I'm sure this has worked before with other games. Maybe. Maybe if they never found them. But I think even if you bought the game and didn't play it for like a year, once you did play it, you could still return it within the first two hours. Really? I thought it said... Oh, okay. Not really. I thought it was two weeks. If yeah, you it says... It. There's a... Some... Was it two weeks? Okay. Yeah, so... I knew, I knew that... Because I know that I've bought a game before and I haven't played it for a while and then I played it and it couldn't run on my game on my computer and I just returned it and they're like, okay. Oh, okay, interesting. Maybe it's under certain circumstances. Yeah. Maybe. Well, regardless, um, I don't know, I just found it funny. <laughs> I imagine yeah. having so much money in your Steam wallet, you don't even think twice, you're just like, whatever, buy and you don't even load the I game. I feel like this would absolutely <laughs> happen to you though, Nat. I feel like you would buy a game and not play it. <laughs> Like I would, a year, and then you'd find out that it was a scam. Uh, with physical games, maybe. Because I don't like unboxing them, so there's, like, nothing in it. I would not have realized. Like, I just opened oh up... Oh, really? Yeah. N n what do you mean? <laughs> I was like, that's the first thing I do when I get like, buy a oh. game. I open the box. <laughs> oh, no. I have, like, at least a minimum of 20 games that I have not opened. And... Oh boy. It's like, I just feel like I can sell them if I don't play them, but I can't sell them because I have... That's not how that works. <laughs> I, I have issues. I don't, know, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> okay. But yeah, digital games, I would, I'm so cheap. So like, I always 
play them, if that makes any sense. Unless those are the free games, then I'll fucking load up on those and I'll never play them. Uh, let's see, we'll go to this other quick story. I only like this story because it's uh, Aiden Ross. I don't know if you guys know, kind of a big streamer. Hold on, I just got some news from my partner. Um, apparently the guy who made Dragon Ball, uh, um, apparently he's dead. Akira Toriyama. Oh Akari shit. Yeah, how old is yeah, he? I don't know. First the guy who made Yu-Gi-Oh and now this. Damn, this is not a good time. He like just died. Like it was announced twenty three minutes ago. <laughs> so breaking uh, news. He just in. Yeah. It just it. Oh my god. Okay. I just when you said it, it sounded so weird. Like he just died. Like someone's at. This is like this. Well, I was gonna dead, say yeah, it's like he, he, he died like a minute ago. Man. You're just looking over. Yeah. You're, you're, no, you're like, like checking his pulse. They're like, oh, is he dead yet? Is he dead yet? <laughs> oh fuck. Yeah, so some depressing and breaking news. Yeah, is he still in? I don't know too much about it. Is he still in, like, doing Dragon Ball Super? Like, I don't know how. Well, like, uh... well not anymore, nah. <laughs> yeah, not anymore. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> 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 oh man, because you know how like Stanley's the uh, passed away, but he's still like I think his vision and whatever is still in the Marvel universe. I don't know. I don't know too much. I, mean, I don't know. Yeah. I just thought it was funny. I was listening to you know. trying to say that <laughs> sentence, and you were like, "Is he still? Is he still?" I'm sitting there the whole time thinking, <laughs> well, "No, he's dead. He's not." <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, he could be working in the afterlife. Oh my god! Wow, that sounds um. like hell. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> dying and you still have to work. Oh, you're not even free <laughs> from work after dying. <laughs> oh Jesus! Yeah, that's pretty breaking. Interesting. I don't think Untitled yeah. Show is uh, known for breaking news. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Anyway, so there's uh, other story. Not to like say it anyway. Uh, I yeah. Just, I don't know if you guys know Aiden Ross. Nope. Okay. So I've just, heard the name. I don't know anything. About okay. Him. Just I think he's like a generally a pretty big stream of like normal normal people. Not like degenerates like us. Oh, well, different degenerates actually. Never, never mind. Normal people. Yeah, okay. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I didn't even know about this guy's connection because what I okay, this is what I in my local. This is literally like a few minutes from my house. Let's see, so we got this clip here. There's this car driving into this like lake. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, initially, I just thought there was people like kids being dumbass. I'm like, whatever, it's kind of funny. Yeah. It's funny to me. And then I find out, I think Aiden Ross was like handing out money for people to do stunts. Let's see. Hectic, many stunts were performed during a uh, hectic live stream. So he would like give money for like people doing stupid shit. And I was like, God damn, this was the reason. Like, I, it seems so weird that. Like social media could be like impacting just regular. It says that they were com they were promised an unconfirmed sum of money. So, what if it was like a really small amount of money and you've just destroyed your like car? Um, yeah, I don't know. That's uh, just stupid. Undisclosed. Where does it say that? It says up the uh, unconfirmed. Uh, okay. Unconfirmed. Yeah. yeah, unconfirmed sum of money. So let's see, understood the risks. Doing was satirical. I don't know what that means, satirical, but satirical is it's comedy, you know. It's satire. But what's the satire part of putting your uh... I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, you're genuinely doing that. But yeah, I, I fucking I think I've... they're like thinking that it's like ha, 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 car crash, funny. Like no. <laughs> yeah, it's very exciting. No. I, I buy ice cream from this pier, like this like and it's just being like, holy shit, fucking, I don't know, just seems like a small I just, world. I just love the idea that there's a bunch of people out there like you who are looking at this video and they're like, man, that's where I get my ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's all you focus on. Yeah, I showed Mishy, and Mishy's like, man, why are guys so dumb? True, true. Oh, Good question, Mishy. Good question. Because this is the middle of the night, I was like, hey, babe, check this out, check this 
like how it says as well, it has not been confirmed if the group received any payment for the stunt from Ross himself. Oh, oh my God. but no, it doesn't saying that he, they can still get paid. It's just they don't want and he, Aiden Ross doesn't want to be associated in case there's any type of criminal criminal element. I would assume. I don't know. Or maybe he just straight up didn't pay him. Uh, this is far from the first major controversy Aiden Ross has faced. So apparently Aiden Ross is kind of a piece of shit. <laughs> I don't oh, know what to tell you. Permanently banned. Hateful okay. conduct. Racist uh, and anti-Semitic messages. Lovely. All right. All right. Interesting. Uh, so yeah, when you say that he's he's for normal people, I don't know if that's true. Okay, maybe he actually is for degenerates. Yeah, uh, it looks like he is. Interesting. Okay. Um. Definitely yeah. heard that name before. Hold on, I'm gonna see if I can. Different channel I watch might have covered him. You know what? I don't even remember the name of the channel. Never mind. Yeah, I don't know. I only mentioned. I didn't even know this guy was associated. I just like cars going into lakes for no reason. But this, this seems just, less cool. <laughs> just the moment I read the title of the article. Oh my god! Oh my god! Like, I remember. I remember who Andrew Ross is. Um, he's very well. He's a very well known hardcore Andrew si Andrew Tate sim. Oh. And that's all you needed to know, really. That's all <laughs> yeah, you needed to know. Yeah, he made his know. career simping for Andrew Tate. I remember this now. Okay. Oh. That's sad. Yeah, he made his he made his career by like simping and collabing with Andrew Tate. Oh shit, collab with him. Interesting. Because no one yeah. else would. Interesting. <laughs> Just kick pride to itself on being less of, From like yeah. the guy who I watch who like talks about various things. There's a clip of Aiden Ross fucking sniffing Andrew Tate's chair when he leaves the room. Ew. No, there is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am going to try to find this within the video. Bro, this is going to be in your search history. No, Val always uses the incognito. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, you want to you want to move on to like regular stuff? Or you want to look sure. up? What what kind of fetish would this be? Like I didn't even know the simp is this simp. I, I don't I'm, know, man. I'm so okay. Uh, we'll do the dev insight first. So this is like the last internet tab. Uh, let me see. Interesting view spoiler. Or Owen. Okay. Zelda is just like watching the screen. She's very interested in what's happening right now. Uh, it's Zelda Aiden Ross simp? <laughs> no, she's looking, at, she's looking at the words on the screen, man. Okay, okay. Say, hey everyone, Lunar New Year, something something, Blue Moon, something. Something something, something uh, my god. Sandrock, art design, Owen, alright, here we go. Uh, is, we is, got that pictures. Rocky? is it Rocky? I can't remember his name. Um, yeah, so that's the. This is the original design for Owen, which became Rocky, apparently. I mean, there he is, this Rocky. Yep. Interesting. So they even changed his name? No, they have Owen. Oh, Owen okay. is a Yeah, character. so this is the design they made for Owen, but they're like, this doesn't fit Owen, so we're going to redesign him. And then they use that design that they made for Owen for a different character. Oh, okay. Because that is Owen. That's who they. Dude, they it looks way different. Oh yeah. yeah. Again, you a lot of the concept art looks a lot different from. Okay. At least that's good. It's not like wasted yeah. time because now like you can use it for NPC or something else. Mm -hmm. Man, like that's that. fucking for, buff. For lack of a better word, if you go to the next one, I for lack of a better word, I like that they made him less white. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. It, it, you know, it technically makes sense in the sand rock universe. Like, it dude, does, they're, yeah. they're in the fucking sun all day. Like, how are you going to be blistering white? <laughs> like, well, I mean... the funny thing is, is this guy's inside all the time because he runs the saloon. <laughs> oh, yeah, he yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah, but they have that outside thing as well. Yeah, I guess they have stage. the porch, but... Oh, yeah, the stage. But he's not usually out there. He's on the inside stage. Yeah, I know. But, I mean, like, they do have those days where they are out on that stage yeah yeah it really doesn't take much like i don't go outside much so then i i like to stay inside inside's my place like i'm 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 like this one guy 
Uh, maybe I'll go once in a while. See. You're definitely not like Owen. <laughs> no, he's just a nice dude. Okay. Yeah, Owen used to travel all over the place, but then like he's like, oh, I'm just gonna settle down in my hometown. And then his parents were like, you'll never amount to anything. Damn, what place. the fuck? Oh, the saloon wouldn't amount to anything. anything. Yeah, they were saying the saloon and sand rock would never amount to anything. They're like, dude, just pack your shit and come to Atara with us. And he's like, no, yeah. fuck you guys. Oh, okay, okay. Huh. Still not great, but okay. Yeah. Let's see, do they change any of the storyline here? Is that what they're saying? Um, yeah, so scroll down more. Um, it might be higher up. I love that it says, in conclusion, when someone says there's nothing perfect in this world, I say Owen. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, there it is. Um, Owen as the man with the most intelligent... Listen, most I don't intelligent. agree with that. Yeah, everyone calls him a himbo. He's kind of dumb. <laughs> That's, he's um, not the most intelligent man in Sandrock by a long yeah. shot. Yeah, he's charismatic, he can run a business well, but he's not the brightest. Um, Potential final boss? What's that mean? Yeah. They were- it sounds like they were planning on making him a final boss, but they rejected it. I just imagine so this guy- I, I legit shame, imagine really. this character design being the final boss, I'm like... You're f <laughs> Rocky's a fucking moron. Don't, don't. Oh, yeah, he's never the one. I can Actually, see so this. Rocky has his moments that I love so much where he's just like, mm -hmm. my therapist told me that I need to work on this, and I'm like, good for you, Rocky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love the scene where, like, Pebbles, like, turned green, and he's like, hold up, Doc, what makes you think this just won't turn him... Wait, how do you say it? He was like, what makes you think this won't just turn him a different shade of green? I took a color therapy class or something, or an yeah. art therapy class or something like that. <laughs> And Crystal was like, dude, chill, it's fine. And Rocky's like, I'm just vulnerable right now. <laughs> I love Rocky. He's funny. Rocky's so good. But yeah, so is Owen. Owen's a good boy. Uh, but, but I do think that making Owen a, like a final boss would have been much more of a, um, a curveball than who they did make that. Uh, yeah, because like the second I walked into like the town hall and met that bitch, I was like, I don't trust you. <laughs> oh, I don't trust anything with religion. Period. Yeah. You should hear me on the Fantasy 14. I'm like, fuck this crystal. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Yeah, usually. Um, you know what? Most of the time, religion is evil. Um, see, is there any other stuff? That's why in... I was pretty sure that what's his face? The guy that controls all the water? I was like, he's evil, because he's very into oh. the religion, and I'm just like, nah. Burgess? Yeah, I was like, he's yeah. definitely evil. Yeah, no, Burgess, I don't think, has the, um... No, yeah, then we learned that he's, yeah, he's not smart enough to be evil. <laughs> he's just... Yeah. He's just obsessed yes, with he's... religion and water. <laughs> yes, Owen's good at cooking, but he hired the person that's bad at cooking to do the cooking. Uh, maybe eventually they'll become good at cooking. No, she never became good. <laughs> no, yeah. she's not so a great bartender, but <laughs> yeah, she's a good bartender, which is not AI good. performance yeah, shows him what AI performance. Just him at home. Like his... Yeah, I think that just like means like movement. his like idol at home. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, like okay. the movements around the city and whatever. Yeah, interesting. Hmm. All right. Yeah, Pretty I just cool. thought. The way the design they changed his design was kind of interesting. The fact that they repurposed it for Rocky, and the fact that he was potentially going to be a final boss was really cool. Yeah, I don't think they repurposed anyone else, right? No, uh, not that I'm aware of. And they totally made him different. Like he's not even like. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. All yeah, right. Because I can post a picture of Rocky and show you what that became. Um, well, it's very similar. Let's grab this image in a sec. Just different clothes, really, is the whole thing. Yeah, they pretty much just... Though I do love the look of Rocky in that, like, lightning shirt. Mm-hmm. Alright. Dude, he looks so badass here. Dude, this guy's fucking... 
This guy's yeah, jacked, I promise. Too. I promise you he's not. Yeah, he's not. He's a Looks... man that has feelings and is working on them, and himself, and we appreciate that. Actually, you know what? He does have a badass scene where he punches Yan in the face with you. Mm -hmm. Let me see, we'll go to the rest of the Sand Rock. You gotta, like, see what... We'll just scroll through them. Start with one, I'll just keep going right. See, maybe you can describe what we're getting. <laughs> Um, so it seems like we're getting, so in Katori world, I think at some point you had to build like little go-karts, but like they kind of just sit there for now, but now we're getting like a go-karting mini game. So I jokingly called this the Mario Kart slash Pokemon update. <laughs> um. Bro. It looks Thanks. nothing like what we built, I'll tell you that. Yeah. yeah. Seems pretty dope. <laughs> we know nothing else about it except for the fact that we're getting a new mini game. But the thing is, is we already have um, sand racing, or like sand sled racing. So I don't know why to we need fair, another racing game. To be fair, sand sled racing is hot garbage. Yeah, true. It's so is, is this going to be better than the hot garbage? Hopefully. No we'll see. But I also don't want to support Katori. So, actually, I guess they're both supporting Katori. Never mind. Yeah, they are. But, um, um Katori's, the already scarred me. Katori's already scarred me with, um, the terrible dates that we got from her world. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, is that um, the one with the... What are the Ferris wheel? Yes! Yeah. yeah. The merry-go-round. The fucking garbage yeah. merry-go-round. I think there's also a roller coaster. Yeah, the roller coaster is okay, but, again, you have to... You're forced to not pay attention your date for that mm -hmm. um but yeah i guess in this one i'm assuming that you can't do this solo like it'll just automatically pair you with um npcs because instead sand sledding you can only do it solo unless it's during like um the like festival i guess we'll call it so interesting yeah i guess it's some type or of power unless you take a date that you, the two of you just go together, but yeah, I have no idea. I really oh, I like, gonna... I like this icon. It's fine. Yeah. I think it's so cool. Yeah. So we don't know much else about it. <laughs> That's the way that's worded. What, what devs, devs are, are working? working? <laughs> <laughs> well, we got the, we got Jimmy on, on the weekend. <laughs> Let's see, 1.3 update and the new paid pet DLC. Oh, you're gonna have a new what lizard? That's the stupid Pokemon. No, that's a stupid Pokemon. DLC. Yeah, that's the monster taming one. Where you if you get the DLC you can just like tame random monsters. Or not random. Monsters of your choosing, but Okay, okay. As, as, I hope you can buy what you want and it's not some gacha system. <laughs> no, yeah, it's no, like you pay to have the ability to mm -hmm. tame yeah. monsters. Oh, okay. Yeah. Instead of just like garbage, having, but... instead of just like upgrading your pets that you have, you can get more pets technically. Are they actually? It doesn't even matter if they're more OP. You guys don't have any type of like PVP or anything. Okay, well, not PVP, PVE. They're not PVP. Yeah, should be fine. Damn yeah. buggy mini course. All right. But again, um, I only care about the taming monsters because I want to pet Penske and. Darby. You don't want to know how many of those I've murdered. <laughs> I mean, same. You kind of have to. But... Trying to get, trying to get something that they dropped from from them. I can't remember. But... Uh, simultaneous DLC update for all platforms except for this. Yeah, but didn't they say that last time and it didn't happen or something? Probably. Hey, it says so switch here had... though. Yeah. So the. Oh my god, I can't speak. So the way that it's been in the past is it's been PC, then PlayStation and Xbox, and then like a month later it's been the Switch because it takes forever oh, for shit to get approved. I think they're still waiting on the, like the new New Year, New Me update. That's what I mean, because I, I remember you saying that it was like, they said that it was like simultaneous and then Switch was like, nah. Yeah, pretty much. So now we're going to have to wait for the Switch approval to get the DLC and everything else on all the other platforms. So we're gonna be waiting for fucking ever. 
Oh shit, that's kind of that's kind of annoying. Yeah. Cuz like, mm. well, I guess Switch comp- players have been complaining about like the delay and like yeah, that's understandable, but also like it's fucking Nintendo. <laughs> yeah. I think you just have to buy another console or something. Ooh. Something fucking. Yeah. Games. Uh, let's go next thing. Yeah, so this is just showing more of Rambo. You're finally going to be able to, like, ride him and whatever. Um, is it? I hate the fact that it's like, um, you guys were stoked to catch a glimpse of this flying beauty. He, he's not flying. What the fuck do you mean? Interesting. I like the okay, uh, I costume, though. Translation issue, but that's like my least favorite costume in the game. Damn. Uh, uh, it seems weird to me. There's it. nothing bound to one. That's one of my least favorite costumes as well. By the way, I, I hate that one as well. Dude, that thing's fire. It's on them, man. It's on them. I think they just wanted yeah. to make sure that nothing else was in the picture. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, because then you'd be holding the weapon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Uh. Oh yeah, and then I just found this funny that um, they're talking about like fixing graphical issues, and then they just slapped a picture of Topless Logan in there. We don't know why. It's completely unrelated. Maybe there's a graphical there- issue. I don't think there is, because then they would have put like a side by side like this is the current issue. This is what we're working on. This they is the current Logan. issue. His name is Logan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think there's any art issues in this picture. They just <laughs> threw a look it down there. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't even piece that together. Interesting. Seems because yeah, they like when they were talking about like optimizing graphics before, they posted like a bunch of different pictures, and they're like, "Hey, this is the current issue. This is what we're working on before and after." Yeah, like, yeah, related the images. <laughs> Maybe they accidentally only put one picture up and they were meant to do like the before and after and they just gave you this. <laughs> Maybe. That's also a possibility, but I just found it really funny. Yeah. And the fact that they went with this scene for like the before and after. Right, we got one more. Oh, wait, yeah. is this the pet menu? This. Uh, no, that's just. Uh, no. That's just, just exiting the interaction. Oh, bye. I see. What's yeah. this, this, this one? That's, um, uh, that's like a, a like you could hug or something yeah. like that. Oh, interesting. Okay, okay. Yeah, the one next to it is the Critters mini game. The one next to that is sparring, taking a picture, taking a picture, yeah, inviting them out like on like a play date, giving them gifts or just talking, talking to them. them. Yeah. Okay, okay. It's okay. That one, uh, what? you said it was like a mini game or something. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a card game. game. I thought it looks like someone with shades or something, but it's a cat. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah, that's skin. Mm. All right, we got one more sand rock image. Uh, yeah, we had the um, in the episode that we lost, but I just oh wanted to bring God. it up again anyway. <laughs> um, so look in the next how update, we're... he is. I know, look at him. Um, in the next update, we're gonna get pet accessories too. And I just wanted everyone to see how handsome Coco looks. Oh. I mean, his little bow tie. Yep. I love me a bow tie. Glasses. All right, perfect transition for uh, <laughs> lewd ikemens, uh, right? God, Jesus. <laughs> All right, uh, we got William. Oh, what Rex? Rez? Riz? Rex? Are you okay? <laughs> Okay, this does it not clearly says it. Rex, bro. Hold on, hold on. I'm trying to find out a better way. Oh, maybe this will be better. Uh, I don't know. Uh, looks pretty cool. All right. Yeah, so they, they put up these little interviews with each of the characters. Most, like, they're all sort of the same questions, but some don't get certain questions and some get other questions. How would you describe yourself? See, people tend to see things the way they want to. Is that normal? So that would depend on what you want from me. Uh, uh. 
Okay. Jesus. <laughs> Would like you like nothing than a gentle embrace, or perhaps you desire something more exciting? It's like, ooh. I'll take the more exciting. Okay. Uh, okay. How would I describe myself? Yeah, that is. Hmm. That's a weird question to ask. No. Some of the answers that some of these boys give, I was like, Jesus, it's not. It's not. See, how would you react if your lover betrayed you? Jesus Christ. Most of them are like awesome. I love it. <laughs> I actually would not expect this. See, such betrayal would be splendid. Uh -oh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, please elaborate. Seeing a person who once loved me hurt me for their own selfish gain, I think that would be rather beautiful. It's like, damn. This is, uh, this is the definition of sadist, right? This is like... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is a cock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not the chair. Oh, my God. I keep thinking oh of that God. chair. Oh, my... <laughs> Oh, okay. I have that chair in my room. Stop <laughs> mentioning it. <laughs> okay, okay. You're gonna have to turn that chair around. You're gonna like face it's the wall. Like a bunch of just crap on it. It's got like clothes and stuff on it. But <laughs> I love this. What sin have you committed recently? And he's like, hmm. I stole some strawberries on the <laughs> Like that's your sin. Uh, it's not bad. That's pretty funny. Okay. My friend said to me that that. Like, because I was like, that's the sin that he came up with. My friend was like, Harrison really likes sweet things, okay? <laughs> like, that's a big deal. Let's see, let's see, I couldn't help myself, but that's our little secret, right? Um, okay, okay. Seems like a cool character. Uh, I like a more. I have to drop in your, that your token white hair guy. Yeah, why does he wear? Why does he have a sword? Are they? Are do you fight? They all have weapons. I've noticed they all have weapons. All right, we'll go to the next one. We'll see what else. We all know what Roger has. <laughs> uh, this guy's got. Let me see. Alphonse got. What is the weapon? Claws. What is this? Alphonse Sylvatica. Uh, he. They had like little character cards that said what what weapon they have, and I think he has a sword. You just can't see it in that picture, obviously, but it's your man, Nat. I, I kind of like this. I'm, I'm like vibing. I with know him. you do. He's doing that thing with the glove. He's yeah, got, yeah. He's got his tie. <laughs> Apparently, my that. friend told me. My friend told me today he's a slut. <laughs> oh my god. Nice, nice. Because <laughs> now they finish the interviews, they're now doing Wikipedia, where Victor tells us bits about each character, and his one came out today, and it was like. Hang on, let me find it, because what he said, he said, even I sometimes find myself at the mercy of his skilled and scheming tongue, and I was like, what is he doing with his tongue? Mm -hmm. And my friend was like, he's a slut. <laughs> That's what he's doing with his tongue. That's so weird. You guys always like, <laughs> it, it, it translates that to you guys but to me i'm just like that's fucking cool like <laughs> does not translate I'm that sorry, to me. if i hear at the mercy of someone's skilled tongue i'm like excuse me see how would you describe yourself i'm exactly the kind of person didn't this other guy say this to you you think maybe whether that's honest gentleman or deceitful hedonist what's a hedonist so he's whatever you want him to be basically both the guys are whoever you want them to be. This is kind of weird. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I like these chibi art though. I might steal one of these chibi art faces. Cute chibi art. Yeah, yeah, I like them. That looks better than his normal face, which is that. He looks like he's got bags under his eyes, like he's done. It's been up all night, guys. He's been up all night looking <laughs> after Elbert. Uh, yeah, interesting. If you wanted something that belonged to someone else, would you steal it? Interesting question. Maybe we, maybe we should use some of these questions. Ask ourselves some of them. No, no, not bad. Um, probably not. I'd ask them where they got it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's funny though because Albert's got this question as well, and they have very different odds. <laughs> I guess they would be referring to like. 
uh, a partner, right? Because I don't. <laughs> Well, I could steal from anyone, man. Yeah. I'm just thinking it'd be weird, like... I don't know. Let's see. I'm not the type to satisfy my own desires by stealing from others. Okay. Theft is so uncivilized. Oh. 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 I like that. <laughs> He's like, I'm better than you. I am better. I, I don't need to steal. Oh, I like that line. See, I was raised. Be oh shit, son! Yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay. I thought he was just like, uh, I'm just better. No, he was raised better. Yeah. Oh, fuck. The level of arrogance. I like this. Uh, what would you do if the future was already set? What? What? I've never heard of that. Hmm. If I consider my future to be an unpleasant one, Ooh. I just indulge in the pleasures and live in the moment. That's what most people do now, no? YOLO? You simply forget to think about the awful reality that it might as well not exist. That's how you live your life now. I think... You're like, you don't think about the consequences of anything. You don't think about... Like, Mishi might get upset about this. You're just oh, like, she's, just, just yeah, live in the moment. Yeah, she's not a fan of my lifestyle. <laughs> 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 but it's weird, it's like... I don't even know my future's already set. And I'm already acting like this. <laughs> yep. So isn't that worse? That's why I was like, that was one of the ones where I was like, that's probably how Matt would respond to that one. Yeah. You know, oddly enough, someone actually asked me, they're like, you're married? Because they saw my ring. And I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm surprised myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Go to you. Okay. Oh, it's Albert. Let me see. Uh... Fuck, you found the clip, eh? I did, yeah. Man, you're fucking working on it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't, I'm not a big fan of this. this what do you I call know you this don't design? Like I just don't Pretty like boy. the design. Yeah, is, is it? Yeah. What is this? What is this? I don't know. It's too much. What do you mean? What is this? What do you yeah. mean? What <laughs> this is Albert. <laughs> what is this like? That's not a tie. What is this? What is this thing? A um, robot? Yeah. So sorry. So what? A robot. I'll have to look that up another time. I'll just, I'll just yeah. so it's like say what? <laughs> All right. This is one of my favorite answers to any of the questions. How would you describe yourself? Al often tells me I'm greedy. Troublesome and that I'm awful with money. Ooh, this, is, this, is, this is very relatable for a lot of people. I just Maybe. think it's funny that his butler's like, You're greedy, you're troublesome, you're awful with money, and he's like, Yeah, that sounds about right. Hmm. Seems like, uh, who would simp for this guy? Hmm. Let me see. Greedy? Troublesome. Um, I know at least one person who simps for this guy. Interesting. Of Seems like odd character traits to desire <laughs> he basically he's because he's he's cursed by the queen from snow white right so oh he's so full with, of narcissists he's obsessed with pretty things and he has to have the pretty thing so he's greedy oh uh, is she i guess she is greedy right hmm see if you wanted something that belonged to someone else same question i'd steal oh that was fucking direct <laughs> <laughs> then i'd like it's mine. It. <laughs> it's mine and lock it away so no one else could ever steal it from me okay boy so that and, and can... i think that i think that's funny because the butler's like no stealing is so uncivilized so uncouth and then <laughs> this guy's like i'd steal it <laughs> yeah i bet I don't know. I got. I think you'd like that because it's kind of direct, right? It's like, okay, yeah, at least you know who you are. That's fine. But the reason to steal is kind of weird, so no one could steal from them. What happens when someone steals from Albert then? Um, he. Would, I don't think he'd take it very well. Yeah, I don't. It doesn't seem like he's. Uh, yeah, didn't seem like he would. Uh, let's see, what would you do if your future was already set? If the ending wasn't what I wanted, hmm, makes sense. Then I'd want to change it, but I thought it said it's already set. 
into one. He would do what he has to do to steal to steal his favorite future. I guess <laughs> steal. <laughs> you can't change your destiny though. It's already set. You have to steal someone else's destiny. Haven't you ever watched TGCF Men? That's a spoiler. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I think I watched it. <laughs> That's a spoiler. <laughs> Never heard that before. Stealing someone's destiny? That's kind of cool. And I've, kind of... I've never heard of it either. Yeah. yeah, Imagine... yeah it, happens. It, it happens in TV <laughs> Imagine, like, I'm just thinking about a different concept. Like, you know how people, like, get, what do they call it? When you get reborn, what is that? I don't know. Uh, reincarnation? reincarnation? Yeah, if you steal someone's reincarnated. Reincarnation. You're like, no. You're, I'm being reincarnated. I'm gonna be this. You're gonna be the bug. <laughs> I always wanted to be a lady, but <laughs> all right, okay. Oh, I'm one of my boys. Oh, he's so cute. Ooh, he looks good. Looks. I love him. He's I don't know about the dagger. I feel like he kill me. <laughs> he's so cute. It's good art. Ah, uh, like sir. Let me see. Uh... What sins have you committed recently? I brought home a stray cat without permission. What? Uh, but Jude really took to it. Let me see. Hmm, stray cat, I guess. Could be someone's lost cat, right? I like that it's like so much so it started looking more like harassment than love. Like, what the fuck is Jude doing to this cat? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's I don't know what they got set up. But, God, uh, I merely just thought of that guy from fucking Mystic Messenger. I haven't played that. God oh, damn, never mind then. Yeah, you need death for this. I don't even know. She <laughs> she played for a bit, right? She would know. I think so, yeah. Oh, uh, what about him though? Um, this one guy is obsessed with another guy's cat and constantly harasses it. He's like, I'm doing it out of love, and the other guy's like, no, fuck off. <laughs> oh my god. If someone started harassing your cat, would you consider that a show of affection? Well, I know it, it might be an attempt, but I would be like, no, fuck off. <laughs> yeah, I think I'd probably do the same. If you wanted something that belonged to someone oh, else, like I said, they, they have like a little rotation of questions. See if it was something that could make a person the happiest they had ever been, I'd steal it so I could give it to them as a gift and make them happy, and then I'd keep them happy like that forever. So keep stealing, he'd keep them happy like that forever. <laughs> You're trapped, <laughs> isn't that so eerie? It's like, dot, dot, dot. Like, yeah, I love him, he's so cute. Okay, I really don't know what that means. Um, that's, He's long just as... obsessed with people being happy. Okay. I guess people like that do exist. Hmm. Wouldn't they be really depressed, though? I don't know. He oh. seems very bubbly. Huh? <laughs> I know the pic I know that picture's, a, <laughs> the picture's a bad picture for it, but like, if you look at his chibi, he's just... Oh no, his chibis look sad too, never mind. I'm wrong. I, I I just found the but like every every like little character card about him. He's just like a bubbly guy. Yeah, I have no doubt about that. It's just the funny. It was like I was looking at this it's image really and you said bubbly, up. and I was like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you, he probably is bubbly. How would you react if your lover betrayed you? Let me see. I'd ask them what they want me to do what let's see if they want me to forgive them i would but if they want me to be if they want to be punished then i would happily oblige oh, what my brain is breaking what <laughs> if you so if they were like forgive me he'd be like okay they I... but if they wanted to be punished then he'd be like okay <laughs> yeah i was so confused <laughs> he just wants to do what makes them happy yeah, this person suffers from severe, like, <laughs> it's just some, some issues. Something. Yeah, they cannot be happy. Or maybe they are happy. Maybe. It's just, he's like the ultimate simp. Like, whatever makes anyone happy. <laughs> maybe. Hmm. Maybe there's transcendent. Maybe that is the ultimate goal, just to make other people happy. 
and you have no feelings because you're always happy because they're happy yeah no who knows who knows my dog's going mad right now oh my god zelda you gotta play some Mickey man villains then you'll be ready <laughs> for what for well not yet but we got what's his name uh roger coming up soon then zelda will oh. be going hey, shit. what <laughs> we'll see we'll see how zelda feel about harrison gray She's currently biting my fingers, so... Okay, she's more into <laughs> gaps than Harrison Gray. Oh, this guy looks like the traditional Ikemen. He's not too violent, seems like you're... Not too violent, just standing there with a gun? Uh, it's... This guy don't know how to use the gun. He just looks like he's holding it. He's just holding it for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what sins have you committed recently? Hmm, well, if you're fine with something small... What? Something small? Oh, this one upset me. This upsets me. The other day, Victor yeah. was being a pain like usual, so maybe I tied some knots in his, in his hair while he wasn't paying attention. Serves him right for not always, for always being, being a bother. bother. Or for always I, being a bother. I love Victor's hair, so that upsets me greatly. I don't like... <laughs> Can you untie those? Wouldn't you have to? It would be hard. It, would, it depends on yeah, how he ties it. Like that. Uh, okay. Interesting. Good prank. Would you rate that as a good Just prank? Just a prank, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Would it? No. <laughs> Not a good prank. Me. Bad prank. <laughs> Bad prank, bro. Okay. Yeah. You know what? I haven't seen videos of people doing it, so clearly it's uh, not a thing. Do they ask these questions in like uh, other Otome games? Kind of. I don't to... play Otome games, so I don't know. Is this I think o... some games they do do like teaser questions like this. Yeah. Is this an Ota Otome game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. This yeah. one's actually. Um, apparently, qualifies. they did do some for like Obey Me. Oh, okay, interesting. Let's see, how would you react if your lover betrayed you? If they actually meant to meant to betray me, interesting. Okay. I try to understand why and make my decision from there. This guy seems pretty reasonable. If you don't think I'm telling the truth about that, then how about becoming my lover to test your what? To oh test your God. theory. So his thing is that he's a liar. So he's like, you don't believe me? <laughs> then you better become my lover and test it out. I was I was like totally vibing with him until it's like become my <laughs> become my <laughs> lover. Like what? That's pretty good reasoning. You'd have to see it from their perspective to kind of analyze, get the bigger picture. Maybe you not the second You might part. be lying about that. <laughs> I'm going to use that line. I'm like, you know what? Could be wrong. We're going to have to become lovers. Then you're going to figure out. Is no, it... you can't be using that line. Now you're married. <laughs> okay, Harrison Gray. Once you're married, you can't use these lines anymore. Okay, I'm telling you right now. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, she's like, yeah, let him do that. Let him find someone else. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I see no ring on this guy's finger. Hey, wait, 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 wait. In all these Ultima games, is there ever a married person? Oh god, I have No. To... You know how some people are like into that? I know I don't think there's ever one. Interesting. Okay, we're gonna develop a game. Eight of the no, eight guys not. are married. Jesus. Yeah, I don't even single... think they're like ever like divorced or anything. I think they're just always young single people. Okay, so one of them is gonna be a divorced dad with three kids, and oh then. My God. <laughs> <laughs> this is... What is this game for now? Is this game just for you now? <laughs> we gotta make this game, and then we have yeah, like your... make like characters as cursed as possible. Yeah, dude. Some I swear, some people like, and then and we, when you quote unquote win the game, you're de you're deemed a homewrecker. And see, there you go. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> so are you gonna have one that's like actively married still then? So yeah, like yeah, the yeah for sure. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, that's what he wants. And then not only that, you're gonna meet their wife well, too. Was, I said divorced dad, and then that also said divorced dad. I think he said homewrecker, so I guess that'd mean that we'd have to have two different characters. One yeah, that's no, divorced, he's talking one about not. many different... He's talking yeah, about we, <laughs> all sorts of characters now. So, so we got three of them flushed though. We got the still married, oh. the 100% divorced, then we got the three kid one, uh, who's still quote unquote working it out. See, uh, we're gonna need oh. to develop five oh more characters <laughs> for our game. I okay? mean, 
in Obey Me, you technically can date a single dad, but... Damn. All right, they're already hitting that demographic. I'm telling you, boys, we got we, we got a game going. Single dad is a demographic that's out there for sure. Oh, but, but not that's... married people. Yeah. Single dad. Okay, okay. So, okay. The <laughs> single dad... Okay, that one's that one's the the good the, the good person choice. You you know you you always have to have like a, a good person choice. That's the good person choice. That's the regular human being, non degenerate choice. See, so you can play this game and not feel bad. But if you want to be the home record, that's choice. Ah, uh, I'd want to. I'd, I'd go down the home record path once at least. I'd I try know out. you would. I try. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Is this gonna be our project, Nat? Yeah, I think we should, <laughs> oh, we should make God. this. We should make this no, game. No, please. <laughs> let me see. Uh, let me see. Back to Harris. And um, what would you do if the future was already set? If the future was one that caused pain to the people important to me. I think I'd still fight to change it. Okay, very uh, optimistic. Then again, I might be lying. Oh, fuck. <laughs> about that too you know you shouldn't trust my answer so easily i don't like this guy <laughs> you don't like it because you can't like it's not straightforward yeah <laughs> is well, that what it is <laughs> so this guy's obviously pretty loosey-goosey goes with the situation he's a liar he lies that's what he does uh. It sounds bad, but he kind of looks he's, like a liar. He's, he's one for the girls that are like, I can fix him. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Is that going to be another one of your... Uh, yeah, the I can fix him can character. Fix yeah. Aren't, aren't the all the guys... So irredeemable that... No, aren't, aren't they all? No, you're going to have like an actual legitimate serial killer. And then it's like, I can yeah. fix him. Oh, yeah. shit. Okay, we got yeah. four of the characters now. <laughs> Serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The one <laughs> he's killed his previous no, his previous wife. I uh, died in some crazy situation. <laughs> See? Why do they all have to be married? <laughs> uh, that's, that's the thing that Nat's got that's the theme that's going with. It's Ikemen divorcees. <laughs> <laughs> and technically, the one that killed his wife, he's technically not married anymore. He's on the oh market god. now. Oh my god. Uh, like, he's like, I'm not even a divorcee. I'm widowed. <laughs> yeah, a widower, I think it's what it's called. Oh, Jesus. This is the most cursed game. This is fucking... Jude Jabba. <laughs> That's Jude's name. Jude That's... Jabba. Yeah, it's a good last name. It even looks pretty good, too. I don't know what it is, but there's still something about Jude's face that I just... What? Don't, don't be mean to his face. Uh, no, like, I want to like him, genuinely, like... I think Death likes him now, apparently. Yeah. Alright, let's read your lore. Let me see, how would you react if I your mean, lover... I mean, he's like cute. He's got an accent, and it's... <laughs> um... God. So. Let's see, his chibi is uh, 10 out of 10. Like, hair is great. Uh, they all look fairly tired, though. Hmm. <laughs> Same. How would you react if your lover betrayed you? Teach him a good old lesson till they cried for forgiveness about a hundred times. Um, yeah, he's like a mafia boss, I think. I okay. Think that was his thing. I thought this was like some sex dungeon thing that I didn't get, but well, maybe you it's never not. know, man. You never know. With that face. And Alice know. works works for him as well. Alice works for him. He's um, the guy that was like uh, her hounding that cat, <laughs> rafting that cat. Mm. Yeah, his face is angled differently. I, I don't see as as much as where you see it, Val. Where it's like different. It seems. Kinda... I mean, I guess it's fine. I don't know. I like this his hair. Fine. I like his hair a lot. Yeah. All right, you switched up the order, or you arrange rearrange them differently. Let me see. What sin have you committed recently? I look like the type to be. I thought it was like I don't know. I, I read communism. <laughs> it's like, what? Committing <laughs> sins. Communism to sins. <laughs> what a shame. Uh, see, for research purposes, why don't you? Oh, he does have. Okay, 
Tell yeah, me really nice. the kind of thing you think I'd be up to, huh? You did not answer the question. <laughs> Look, Jude. Uh, what? When you look at him, what do you think he, what kind of crimes would he commit? Um, <laughs> my mind immediately wants to tax evasion. I thought <laughs> financial crimes. That's what I thought of. I didn't think, uh. Well, obviously he torture people, but like my brain also wants to tax evasion. My brain is going down some sort of torture. I was just trying to think of yeah. a good way to say it. But I think the funnier answer is tax evasion. <laughs> Yeah, interesting. <laughs> so what you're saying is that he he's mammon. Yeah. I mean, that's the vibe I'm getting from, like, the way he talks, because that's very similar to mammon. Isn't this a... How many white-haired boys do we have? This is the second one, at least. Two. This is the second one. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Again, that's why I said I really want to like him, because <laughs> I like white-haired boys. I like that he says oi in this one. <laughs> if you wanted something that belonged to someone else, would you steal it? Oi. Ozzy, see Ozzy. Oi. My manners ain't that bad. Uh, I'd offer to acquire it through a fair and clean transaction. Tax evasion. Yeah, that's all I see now. <laughs> I just see this fucking tax. Oh, see. But if it ain't working out, maybe things don't go so well for my potential business partner after. Oh Jesus Christ! Don't break their legs. <laughs> Tax evasion with also some torture thrown in. <laughs> okay. I'm not partnering with this guy. I don't know. Well, then you're going to lose your legs, Matt. Yeah, I, I'm not down with this guy. This guy's like all him. you you and death, uh, Val. I like him, but he's got nothing on Ellis and Victor. How many can you... Is, for these games, you just main one guy or how's this working? Yeah, you main one guy, but you can go back and do other routes. Yeah. Uh... Okay, this will be my first ultimate game. We'll see how this goes. At least okay. I think you might be able to start multiple, but I think it's just one at a time. Because right. yeah, you do just go down like the path. Yeah, Surely, did they? Right. Did your friend say anything about the iOS progress? No. No. Oh, actually, yeah. I didn't know, really and I I didn't know I was meant to ask them about the iOS. No, no, no. Just... That said, that she she's on the translation team. She's so I don't know that she would actually know anything about that. Oh, uh, interesting. Yeah, I didn't really ask you. I was just wondering, <laughs> which makes no sense. <laughs> uh, oh shit! This is lewd. Let's see, Liam <laughs> Evans. And here's Mel. Oh, dude, I actually saw way more of this image than I thought. Like, I imagined something else when I saw it. I, please tell that. What did you? Imagine? It just looked like his fingers were further in. Yeah. In his mouth. Yeah. But it's actually not so bad. It seems a uh, pretty. This is a PC picture, right? Like, if you load it up a, like, yes, someone's fine. resume and you saw this, you'd be like, oh, that's normal. No? I don't know that people put. Do people put their pictures on their resume? Apparently it's standard so. in some countries, not in Canada, thankfully. Yeah, yeah. it's not a thing here, as far as I know. Yeah, I, I, I hate it, but some parts of the world it's a thing. Oh damn, his chippy face is good too. How would you That'd describe yourself? Man, I can't tell, they're also- let me go back a bit, I swear I they're like also his good. Little, I like that his chippy has these little earrings. <gasps> oh, is That's it? That's a cute detail. Oh shit, I didn't even notice. I thought it was just okay, interesting. Yeah, the chippy faces are they put some good work into them. Let's see, how would you describe yourself? I'm the type that if you gave me two choices between right and wrong, <laughs> I'll always pick the wrong one. <laughs> uh just to see how it plays out, I guess, for the laws. He's he's Cheshire cat, so he's like curious. He just does shit just to uh, see what what will happen i do like reading the posts where they like post an image and then they have the caption like wrong answers only i do like reading those they sometimes they're pretty funny i don't know if this is the same type yeah. of vibe <laughs> how would you react if your lover betrayed you Let's see first i draw them tightly into my arms and ask them what i did wrong Ooh, okay okay and then i drown them in so much okay there you go love <laughs> i know it sounds like whoa <laughs> that they'd never ever want to consider leaving me again 
if I did that, then things could go back to normal, right? Oh, sweetie. That's not how it works. Hmm. Maybe it does. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, this guy's on the cusp of kind of crazy. Interesting. I think they're all a little bit crazy. Yeah. Hmm. Some of them seem pretty normal to me, but then I'm like, maybe, hmm. That's what they want you to think. Yeah. What sin have you committed recently? I always do anything the people around me want me to do. So I'll commit any and every sin you want from me. Ooh. Okay. It doesn't even matter how dirty. Dirty. Okay. Or bloody things get. This could be interpreted multiple ways. Uh, mm -hmm. Just thinking about it gets me excited. This guy really gives me asthma vibes. I heard your PJ. Yeah, this guy's uh, too violent for me. This dude's too much. He's just, it's not that he's violent, it's just he, a dude's more violent than him. It's just that yeah. he just wants to do crazy shit. Yeah, this guy's a. Uh, Maybe the wrong word. Too wild for me. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Too wild for you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Interesting. Uh, yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't like being tortured either. So I think uh, food's <laughs> off the table. <laughs> <laughs> oh, our boy. Are you? There we are go. You? <laughs> Let's see. Best boy. Did they? I didn't even see his last name before. Is that on purpose? Yes, Barrel. Left the barrel of a gun. It sounded like it's, there's no way. It sounded like oh, I don't yeah. know. Just seems weird. Okay, okay. Looks smooth. Smooth operator. All right. Looks good. The fact that I genuinely like like this guy's design. Yeah, I don't I, mind it either because I I like I you go you put glasses on a character and you got me. You know. Yeah. It's it's uh, glasses. Yeah. I'm not a he fan looks a of bit those like a character. He looks a bit like a character from, I think, Black Butler that I like. Um, was it William? Was that his yeah. name? No, not him, but he does look a bit like yeah. him as well. Alright. Uh, how would I'll you... I'll let you know as oh, soon yeah. as I figure out his name. I forgot that all the Grim Reapers wear glasses. Yeah, he, he's one of the Grim Reapers. Alright, I know what I want and will do whatever it takes to achieve it. Okay. And if my methods get you all misty-eyed for me, then all the better. Uh, Ronald! Uh, yeah, I was about to say, was it Ronald? So this guy, like a player? What is this guy? He's got a huge dick, that's all I know. How do we know that? How, how I've do you been know? informed this. <laughs> we don't know that. She has insider info from the translation. Yeah. Team. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine translating this. <laughs> she says that she has the time of her life. Oh my god. Let's see, what sins have you committed recently? I can think of uh, more, more than, than a few. few. Yeah. Most recently, I used Liam as my guinea pig while working on a new drug. What, what is this guy? What do you mean? He's a doctor. Why doesn't it say Dr. Roger Barrel? <laughs> Maybe he I lost think his he was like, Didn't we say that he was like excommunicated or something? Yeah. Uh, dishonorably discharged. Yeah, there you oh, go. Oh, yeah. I think I remember that. He was in the military, I guess. Ended up putting. Like, well, that's what we said, but like. Oh, yeah, that was the joke. That was the joke. The oh, my yeah. translate. My translator friend said that he absolutely would have been dishonorably discharged. <laughs> Ended up putting him to sleep for a whole day. This uh, haha. -ha. Well, he got to rest, and I got to use his uh, body my for God. my real. Ah, oh, don't. <laughs> Oh, uh, dicey. This is getting really dicey. I know, I read that one and I was like, what the fuck did you oh, do? Like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. What am I reading? <laughs> I'm sure that there was consent involved in this. Oh, we hope. 
Liam uh. probably had to sign a form. Liam's the guy, the wild guy, he would have been into it. It's okay. Yeah, I guess technically it's okay if it's two consenting adults, if correct? It's consenting, yes, yes. If it's consenting, this is just, it's fine. This is a wild world we live in. Just to think, it's like, I, I'm so confused. Okay. Dude, there are people that are into somnophilia. It's okay. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> it's oh God. getting turned on by having sex with someone who's asleep. Mm-hmm. What do, why do I know this now? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you're gonna learn a lot of curse info from us. It, you need consent, though. Like, somnophilia is yeah. fine as long as there's consent. But then now you could never sleep. You can. <laughs> no, if there's consent, then you're probably like into it and you're like, I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ah, uh, okay. Like, how would you react if your lover betrayed you? <laughs> And that's okay. like, I'm just gonna run away from this Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a woman who'd betray the man she loves. Huh? I'd be into that. Okay. okay. I think that that's, a lo- that's how you would answer this one. <laughs> uh, this one's, uh, I don't know. I don't like this guy. This guy's pretty weird. Just that first, se- just that first sentence. I okay. think that's how you would have answered that one. Let's see. Uh, if she could pull it off well, I'd reward her by loving her senseless. I'm not so easy to deceive, okay? He's gonna put you to sleep. <laughs> That's a new one. I've never heard that in my whole life. I can't believe you've never heard of somnophilia. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where I learned it from. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just thinking, Gabs, you learned about a lot of criminal behaviors. The criminal that's behavior. Not, that's not where I learned about somnophilia. Oh. oh, okay, never mind. Yeah. I learned about Again, somnophilia when I was like 16. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, wait, where did you learn about it, Val? Uh. <laughs> Fanfic. That was like, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> okay, okay. It's, Say- um, it's very common in the Yo Baby fandom. Oh, so you guys are like, this is like in your wheelhouse, I guess. Listen, I used to ride it, and then I found out that there was a name for it. <laughs> Bro, I am I, seriously. This is the first time I've ever even heard of this. It's very interesting. Okay. Yeah, I have a, I have a wild knowledge of various things. Same. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Honestly, um, Gabs could probably bring up anything. I don't. I probably know what it is. Okay. But I was still like, rather not good at this. I was gonna say, I don't know if we should do that. Um, yeah. So we got Roger. Like, moving um, on. Moving on. Yeah, yeah. Roger's not for me. <laughs> I'm trying to get uh, out of here quickly. What about? Oh, we still have. Oh, oh. We still, I was like, how many we got left? My boy, it's my boy. It's my Ooh, Victor looks fucking hot as fuck here. That's He's pretty good. so good. Look at him. He's so pretty. Can you imagine tying knots in that gorgeous hair? No, that's a terrible idea. That's the worst prank video. You know what? Don't tell anyone on TikTok. They'll do it. Oh, he's so pretty. Yeah, you're right. And, and he only has one name. He doesn't have a surname. He's just Victor. Uh, yeah, but his real name is Brian Davis. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> you know how you like, you're like, I'm going to be cool now. This is my new name. Victor. Oh my God. <laughs> AKA Brian Davis. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's so beautiful. I, love him so I mean, to be fair, that's me with my chosen name. <laughs> oh my, my god. Uh, again, how would you describe yourself? Bright, lively, and oh so charming. Oh, uh, not bad. Okay. Seems a little I like this. him. He's, like, he's very bubbly as well. He seems like so him. bubbly, but not based on this image. Yes. Yeah. This, this is not what I would. He kind of looks like Count Dracula type shit. <laughs> Well, at least that's what I think about myself. Me too. Yeah. I'd love to hear <laughs> your impressions too. Music. Well, what is that music sign? What are they? There's he a name. Said for he it. was like, he sort of said it sing songy. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Tilde. Music note. Oh, okay. Music. Well, Tilde is the thing next to it. Yeah. But that's, uh, that is that is a music note. Yeah. A music note. Okay. I remember just music sign. Okay. I can't remember. There's probably like a specific type of note it is, but yeah. Bro, does this guy sing? I don't know. You tell me. He just said oh. it in like a sing-song voice. It's more just to say like that's how he said it. Like, like he's oh. like he's like. But I'd love to hear your impressions too. Ooh, 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 yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Oh my, <laughs> oh my god. 
Zelda <laughs> You're trying. Zelda this character. Zelda's trying to rip the skin off my finger. <laughs> oh, Zelda's in the Victor. Uh, let's see. If you wanted something that belonged to someone else, would you steal it? Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> We should all be honest with our desires to strive and achieve them, no matter what the means. I don't know about that. Okay. Uh, I may look innocent like this, but in truth, I'm incredibly greedy. You know, it kind of <laughs> seems like San Long, yeah? No? Is that why I like him? <laughs> oh no. He doesn't have an eye patch. Uh, yeah, but he has the personality. He's good personality, I think. Kind of. Not completely, but kind of. Okay, okay, okay. I'll uh, see. What sins have you committed recently? I baked some late night scones with far too much butter for my darling crown boys. Who, who are the Loves crown boys? boys? All the boys. Oh, so this guy's the big boss? This guy's the. Yes, he's like Lucifer. He's like the top ah. guy. Oh, oh, I know. Mischievous. He's getting them all fat. I knew it. This is what he's doing. Oh, that rich aroma. <laughs> oh my god. That heavenly taste and all those cal- I knew it! I fucking knew it! <laughs> I fucking knew it. Positively sinful. There's no doubt about it. I knew it. He's getting so here's the thing I find interesting. Okay, because Victor is very mysterious. He doesn't have a last name. We don't know what his curse is. His curse is redacted. We don't know. It's, he's very mysterious, but I just think it's interesting that in that third question, he answered with, um, if you go to the third one, no, other one, that one, yeah, he answered with, I may look innocent like this, so I'm like, what's your true form, Victor? Good point. Uh... I don't know, man. I don't know. Something and does that form I'm... even look innocent? <laughs> I'm like, hmm. Maybe this is his true form. And this is the image he thinks we see. Because yeah. <laughs> I see this, I'm like, oh, he's half happy go lucky little. <laughs> and then we see this, you're like, oh shit, motherfucker. Okay, all right, all right, you're serious. All right. He's so cute. I love him. All right, uh, interesting. That's the last one, I think. No? Or is it wrong? I think so, probably. Oh, back to William Rex. I'm sorry, William Rex. We've seen way better boys. Which, which, Damn. Um, <laughs> Rude. Yeah. Okay. Out of all these characters, which one would you sniff the seat out of when they got it? No. <laughs> nah, please. Is that not a thing? I found out it's a That's thing not today. A thing, I found it's out not it's a thing. a thing today. Yeah, no, it's just not to be a freak. You know what? <laughs> we can make it a thing. You no, we can't. <laughs> no, we're not making it a thing. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, that aside, what are we naming our divorce dad's game? I already said it can end divorce day. Yeah, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think it can end divorce is is good. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, I'm thinking of another one. There's a character oh, who doesn't uh doesn't look great. But has all the positive attributes you would associate with a regular, like, upstanding citizen. Okay. Yeah, you know, that's it. He just he just doesn't look great. So, but, but is he is he divorced or? Uh, yeah. Like, he, we'd have to write some tragic backstory. Like, his wife tried to kill him but or like something. His, what? <laughs> but like maybe his wife died tragically. No, 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 no! His wife died tragically trying to kill him. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that works. Yeah, yeah. See, okay, so there we go. So then, now we have five of the characters. We just need three more. We're pretty close. The, oh I only God. say this because you say Ikiman, but Ikiman like refers to like good-looking boys. Yeah, but unfortunately, this yeah. guy's not the greatest looking. Listen, he's an Ikiman. Are we gonna do that? Well, we do that thing where like, where like. You make a character attractive, but like in game, you're like, oh my god, they're so ugly. That's a very common trope. Oh, it's like the ugly Betty thing. Where well, she no. wasn't ugly at all. Yeah, she was the yeah. dude. If she's ugly, I'm like, what the fuck? It's just... <laughs> yeah, that's something like that. But the, I'm amazed more people weren't offended. 
they'd be like, shit, if she's ugly, I'm fucking like... Well, no, like, that's, like how I felt when I first, that's how I felt when I first saw it. I was like, excuse me, she's ugly? <laughs> Bro, you put on like some new clothes and she actually looks like pretty good looking. Like, <laughs> that doesn't work for anyone. <laughs> Oh fuck! Okay, okay. Uh, it's already gone on for too long. Maybe we were just trying yeah. to make our new game. That's what took so long. Um, yeah, yeah. We just need some funding. Uh, we don't need translations <laughs> because this shit's developed in English. We might need like other language trans translated to other languages. Can you imagine? If you have any more divorcee ideas, let us know. Yeah, we just need two more. Tell, tell us the, in the comments. Put your ideas for divorcee um, characters. Yeah, all right. And we'll see what the best character is. <laughs> what about one that's like, you know how there's crazy cat ladies? What about one that's just oh got like God. a million cats? Dude. Amazing. Dude, I fucking, I, I guess I can maybe say, because I, I worked with a guy who collected spiders. Ew. Yeah. Ooh, no. Yeah, that's not as, as, okay. Spider dad or cat lady? Spider dad. Cat, cat mom. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I would prefer there because <laughs> I imagine there's some bad things on the cat side at all. Okay. Well, yeah, I guess I wouldn't be. I, I, I know you're I a little. Know, neither are great. You're, but you're, you're I a little like biased spiders. here, Val. <laughs> but, yeah, you're right. Uh, okay, yeah. Just leave your. If, if anyone even makes it this far, you can leave your. Yeah. Your comments down below. Sure. Uh, you want to lead us out, Val? And give us money and funding for our game. <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs> You'll be raising enough that, money. Isn't that the same yeah. thing? Give us money and also money. <laughs> well, money for us, money for our game. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Share the wealth. Start that Kickstarter. <laughs> oh, oh my fuck. god.